Hey guys, Arctic the Wolf here. Today I'm going to be speaking with a different voice, so if you think you know who I am, you actually don't. Some crazy thing happened either uh, September or July of last year, obviously. Well, I don't know. 2017. Just in case you're watching this in like three years later or whatever. This is kind of an interesting story, um, but I'll just read the notes I wrote down because... Of course, I had to write this down, word for word, every single detail. It's July 9th. It was a Sunday. Uh, it was 4, 12 p.m. 2017. I'm not gonna say who, but someone I know is a uh, furry. And I know this for sure because I got hard proof evidence. So it was a Saturday night. My mom got a call at 9 p.m. from... The person who's a furry. Well, not the exact person, but someone, the the person's mom. We just know them. At 9 p.m., and there was a meetup going on at Steak and Shake. But I said I would go before I was in bed, and then at 10.05, or no, 10.15, I went to bed and forgot I was going somewhere, and no one stopped me. I fell asleep, and then 10.15, 10.16, and then 10.19, I got three different texts that were saying, hey, are you coming? And the second one said, we are leaving. And the third one said, I take it you're in bed, question mark. Um, obviously, these texts were from my mom. And I was like, and I, I, I woke up, I got woke up by the second text, but I was so tired, I just went back to sleep. And my mom came downstairs, I guess, around 1.20. And then I got up again because I heard her come down the stairs and we were talking about what was going on. And she's like, you look super tired, so I'm just going to say that you couldn't make it or something. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And I fell asleep and she left. This is the crazy part. Like, I don't want to say I have, like, superpowers or anything. Obviously not superpowers, but, like, I didn't. I just, I had this weird feeling, you know, like, that feeling you get when something is just a bit off or you think something but it's not you know it's not true even though you think it is true 100 percent. anyway i was just thinking about the way this person acts and the way they do things and how, how they just act they acted like me when i was younger when i didn't know that i was a furry so i was thinking what if this person is a furry and i'm like it'd be cool but probably not it's possible though and then I was like, well, maybe she just goes to Comic-Con or something, and it's something similar, but not 100% that, you know? Anyway, I thought about that, and then I finally fell asleep. And then here's what my dad said around 3 p.m. on a Sunday, which is the next day, by the way. Yeah, I think that person you are having suspicions about, even though he doesn't know I have suspicions about her. He didn't say that, but I mean, like, you know, I'm not trying to say the person's name. Um, I think that they're into comic-con and that they like undertale they're even making a costume for um undertale and i was like oh undertale is cool i love undertale and then i go so i was right from last night and mid i was like whoa holy crap and i was like too bad that she's not a furry and then a few seconds later he goes anyway they said they were into or interested in furries and they have a tail so i'm thinking Oh crap, but at the same time, this thing is freaking cool because I know who they are and they don't know that I am and we know each other so well, sort of. I don't want to say so well because we don't see each other a lot, but we think we know a lot about each other. See, I'm thinking, oh crap, because he just said that word that triggers my brother's head to go straight to, oh yeah, um, I, or me, the person who's talking, I know that they are into that too, and now I'm thinking, oh Trap! Like, whoa, now what am I gonna do? <laughs> Hopefully, they don't ask anything about it because I don't really want to like answer them. And I was like, hopefully they didn't hear because there was also a lot of noise going on at the time. And then I was like, I have to think of something real quick. So, me being stupid, literally stupid, and trying to hide this whole entire thing, I just say. Well, no, I was just looking into it to see what it is. I am such a freaking idiot. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know why I said that. That was, like, the worst lie I've ever said. Like, you can look at my lie in history, and it's flawless. Like, most of my lies are, like, on point, really good. You can't really tell that they're a lie. This one, I was thinking this is so obvious, but they don't know what I know, so I think we're good. <laughs>
And I was like, oh, well, what's been said has been said. You know, I can't take it back. And that's what's running through my mind. I'm like, dang it, I just missed that one up real bad. And then my dad says, uh, they said not to tell you because they thought you would make fun of them. First thing that ran from my mind is, why would I make fun of them? And I was like, well, I guess I would understand, you know. I don't even want to tell my own parents, so. And then I'm thinking, I still can't believe, I still can't believe that they are a furry. And I'm like going insane. And the th second thing I'm thinking is, how was I right last night? How was I right laying there thinking that she has to be? There's no way I got that right. There's no way on earth. The second thing I can't believe is my own dad just told us, even though she said not to. My dad says, yeah, I don't think Thomas would have made fun of you. So some takeaways from this is that someone I know closely is a furry. They have a tail, which I thought was really interesting. I guess the main reason, main reason why I am, uh... I am surprised about this is because my family is like there's like a side of it that's like super strict and a side of it that's not and that's why I kind of don't want to tell anybody I'm a furry because it'd just be super weird like right now I am in the basement alone in a corner the point is though I was just really surprised that someone else that I knew very closely like family close was a um yeah furry and now I have her number, which is even more weird because I really want to text her that I am, but I know if I do that, it might get leaked and I'm just not sure if I should tell her. So I've been like leaving subtle hints. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. I still haven't gotten the strength to ask or tell her anything. I was gonna, I was gonna ask if, you know, she was a furry, but that would have been really awkward because I don't know if I would want to be asked that. And if I did ask that, she would question how I know. And I just, I want to hold off, you know, because I got this information from someone who said not, or from someone who was told not to tell someone else. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Um, any subscribers would definitely motivate me. If I'm just going to have no subscribers, I'm probably not going to worry about posting as much because there's no points anyway if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like that would definitely help motivate me to work more on this channel and uh yeah that's i guess all i'm gonna talk about so i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys hopefully in the next one bye we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Thank you.